Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Peter and today I'm going to talk to you about things that you should know before getting a French Bulldog. Alright, so this is my boy Fuli. He's two years old. He is a blue French Bulldog and I got him two years ago when I was traveling in Europe. He was 100% a spontaneous traveling souvenir. He was unplanned. Um, so, you know, when I got him, I wish there was just some things that I wish I knew about him uh, before I actually got him. So the purpose of this video is hopefully I could share some of my own personal experiences and some of the things that I've uh, learned over the years to help you determine whether this is the right breed for you. Okay, I had to put him down because he was just way too heavy for me. He's 26 pounds and I just got home from the gym and my biceps are already burning from that. So I had to put him down. So one of the things that I love about the French Bulldog is that they're so easygoing and they're, they're a very loyal breed. They're definitely a companion dog. So what that means is that they just love to be around people and getting people's attention and they definitely have um, a big personality that comes along with that. Now, if you're someone that's still doing their research and trying to determine whether the French Bulldog is the right breed for you to fit your lifestyle and your living situation, hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to record here. Do you want in on this? Okay. He wants in on this. The French Bulldog is a great breed for those that are living in a small condo or um, a small home. Um, they're relatively low on energy, so they don't need as much exercise as some of the other breeds out there. However, there are some exceptions. Uh, because they don't need so much exercise, you really have to key in on their diet and make sure that they're getting a high quality source of protein. Another thing that I love about the Frenchie, and this might be something that's very important for those of you that are living in a condo or apartment, is that they're not very talkative. And what I mean by that is that they're not known as a barking breed. They do not bark a lot. Um, there are some exceptions, however, for the most part, um, they're a very quiet breed. They don't really bark so much, so this was a good thing for me. One of the most amazing things about the French Bulldog is that they're great family dogs. They're great with kids and they're great with other animals. Now, the great thing about the French Bulldog is that they're great family dogs and they're great with kids. Kids generally love their Frenchies, which is great because they can preoccupy your children's attention for a long period of time, which is gonna free you up. Now, now, another thing to note about the Frenchie is that it's a very strong and sturdy breed. Now, this might be very important to you if you have young children in the house because um, it's not fragile. So if your kids are still, you know, kind of learning how to be gentle, um, it's not a dog that's going to go down very quick and get injured very easily. So one of the things about me is I'm a bit of a neat freak. I love cleanliness. I love things being organized. It's just who I am. I was brought up that way. So for me, one of the things that were very important is that I didn't have a dog that shedded like crazy. Nobody wants to have an experience where they have people come over and they sit down on their couch and they're just covered in hair or you know, you're just about to go out the door and you know, your dog jumps on you and you're covered in here and then you gotta get out that thing to like, you know, clean off. It's just annoying. So for me, this is a huge plus because even though he does shed, he sheds two times a year. Uh, he is not that bad and he's very low main maintenance in that sense where I don't have to be cleaning every day. Now this next point, I think it comes as a shock to many people once they've decided that they want to get a French Bulldog and it's the fact that the Frenchie is a very expensive breed. You could expect it to pay anywhere from $3,500 for your standard colors all the way up to even I've seen $20,000 for exotic colors. Now I'm going to talk about that stuff in a later video. Don't be misled by online advertisements for French Bulldog puppies that are being sold for $1,000, $1,500, $2,000. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Take your time, do your research, educate yourself. In fact, educate yourself on what goes into breeding French Bulldog 
I can promise you there's a lot more work that goes into breeding a French Bulldog than it does, you know, a Golden Retriever, a German Shepherd, or, you know, a Border Collie. Um, once you actually educate yourself and you have some knowledge of what actually goes into breeding a French Bulldog, the figures will actually make more sense to you. Now, some of the things that the French Bulldog is faced with when it comes to health issues is cherry eye, sensitive stomachs, um, skin issues. Uh, did I mention cherry eye? Cherry eye. Um, and these are just some of them, but there is a whole list of, of some of the health concerns with them. So it's very important that you do your research and get familiar with what you're actually getting yourself into. One of the things that I recommend people getting as soon as they bring their puppy home is immediately set up an insurance plan um, for that dog. And the reason why is because you want to prepare yourself rather than um, wishing that you did prepare yourself when something bad does happen. Now, some people might argue, oh, insurance is a waste of money and um, you know, I'll just, you know, put $80 or $100 aside every month and that's going to go into my puppies, um, my dog's, you know, um, health care. And that's fine. You could do that too. And, you know, if you do have an insurance uh, policy, I really hope you don't have to use it. But it's always nice that if something does happen, you have something to cover you because you put something in place for your dog. Now, this other point. It might be a con for you. For me, it wasn't. I I think it's actually kind of hilarious. And I think it's what actually makes up the French Bulldog's personality. And it's that, you know, they're loud. Uh, they snore, they burp, they fart. Um, they move around a lot. And if you, like me, um, are you gonna have your dog sleep with you at night? This might turn you off. For me, it doesn't. Um, you know, in the beginning, it, it bothered me a little bit, but now it's more soothing for me at night. And actually, um, you know, it doesn't feel right if I don't have him with me and I don't hear him snoring. I won't lie, sometimes it is a little bit too loud where it takes me about an hour to fall asleep, but I would rather take that than him farting um, he, my dog doesn't do it very often, but I know some people who have a French Bulldog and their, their dogs just fart like crazy. It's like, a, like an orchestra, like it's just so loud and it smells really bad. It clears out the room. <laughs> so, um, you know, <laughs> I'm lucky that my dog doesn't do that, but maybe for you, um, you don't want to take the risk and because of that, you're, you might not want to get a French Bulldog, but it's definitely something to consider um, when deciding if this is the right dog for you or not. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video and through here, let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, see you in the next one. Bye. I've been recording for like three days now. Hey, bud. Ugh. Well, maybe you should go on the. <laughs> Things you should consider before buying French Bulldog. So bad. So, so bad. <sighs> okay, let's do this again. <sighs> All right, let's roll up the sleeves. Let's do this. <sighs> okay, that was a little better. It was a little better. I feel like an idiot staying in my bedroom doing this. <sighs> What's going on? My name's Peter. Oh, fuck. My name's Peter. My name is Peter.
Why is this gonna be so hard?